Yeah, so um, uh, everything is going to be recorded in, uh, in the tutorial session. Um, so if you do miss it, you will be able to uh, access it online uh, and, and watch it at a later time. The advantage of coming to the um, live session is that you will have a chance to ask me questions uh, face to face. You'll be able to uh, uh, ask me to clarify things on the spot, right? Um, whereas if you're watching a, a recording of it, it's a little bit more static, okay? Um, so I see that uh, a lot of you have um, also taken some kind of uh, anatomy and physiology course um, in the past. Um, if you haven't, that's okay. Or if you have taken it and you forgot about it, uh, that's okay as well. Uh, my assumption is uh, uh, this is an introductory course. Uh, you guys might be going to practical nursing or other health related uh, uh, programs and, and so I'm going to try to give you the basic um, foundation necessary to do well uh, in those uh, in those um, uh, uh, future courses that you might be taking and a majority of you is from uh, last semester so you probably had uh, uh, Mirand as your teacher um, so things are going to be a little bit different in terms of delivery uh, method but you know we work closely to each other um, so you know you, you, you could expect the same kind of uh, quality, I guess. Okay, um, so let's go to the course homepage. Um, and here you can see there are a bunch of quick links here. Um, you can click on them and they will take you to the respective places. Um, you can see the course outline here. Um, the course outline is just for your reference. Uh, I don't really uh, stick to the course outline in terms of the um, weekly schedule. Okay? Uh, we will cover everything in the course outline. Uh, the um, uh, 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 course evaluations, tests and quizzes are, are going to be following the, the course outline as well. But in terms of when things happened, you really want to um, click on the weekly schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, you should download a copy of the weekly schedule um, and uh, put it in a place uh, that's accessible for you. Uh, and here, it's basically a calendar, right? And today we are having, oops, sorry. Oh my goodness. This, uh, let me try to fix this. There we go. Um, so today we're going to have the virtual orientation uh, and then most of the tutorial are going to be on uh, the Fridays, right, from 10 to 12. Um, it tells you when your quizzes are going to be. So uh, the first quiz is going to be on the 30th and it will cover uh, lecture one. Uh, and it's going to be available from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, so that gives you a nice 12 hours window to do it. Uh, uh, you know, even if you have to work, hopefully you'll be able to uh, find some time to do it within that, that window. Uh, and typically a quiz, you will have about 45 minutes to do it. And, and for tests, they are going to be a little bit longer. So maybe 70 uh, uh, minutes. So once you you know, start the, the quiz or test, um, you do have to finish it in that session. You cannot log out and come back in later. Uh, as you probably know already, the timer keeps on uh, uh, ticking, uh, even though you close your browsers. Okay, so um, the course itself uh, is going to be, uh, give me a second, let me just pull this out. The course itself is going to have a total of uh, 12 lectures. So, you know, lecture one to lecture 12, uh, and it's separated into three units. So, you know, unit one, we are going to have lecture one to lecture four. Um, unit two, we are going to have lecture five to lecture uh, eight. And unit three, we are going to have lecture nine to lecture 12. Okay, so um, the format of the assessment goes something like this, okay? Um, quiz one, quiz one is going to be lecture one, okay? And test one is going to be lecture three to lecture four, right? So uh, that way you are not going to have uh, too many things uh, going on, I guess. Uh, once you finish with quiz one, then you won't get tested on those materials again, okay? So test, uh, test one will only cover, sorry, lecture two to lecture four. So similarly, uh, for unit two, you will have quiz two, uh, which is going to be, you know, just lecture five, and, and test two is going to be uh, lecture six to lecture eight, okay? Do you guys understand this? Right. Um, quiz, quizzes are going to be 10% uh, each, and you have three in total, so that adds up to 30%. Uh, tests, they are a little bit um, heavier, 
um, they are 20% each and you have three uh, in total, right? one for each unit. So that's gonna give you the 60%. Uh, and then you're gonna have labs. You know, I'm gonna get into the labs um, later on. Uh, it's a little bit different than, um, again, what you did last semester. Um, so the labs, there are three labs, uh, uh, one for each unit, okay? So, so lab one, lab one and lab two, they are going to be uh, for lecture one to four and lecture five to eight respectively. Uh, and the lab themselves uh, um, actually uh, will not be worth any marks, okay? So you, you will just do the labs on your own. Uh, and then when you're ready, you will do the uh, lab quiz, okay? So the lab quiz, is what uh, is going to be graded, okay? So the lab quiz uh, will be 2.5% for the first one, 2.5% uh, for the second one, and then lab three quiz, uh, because there is a, a lot more questions in it, uh, it covers, um, the topics is a little bit more difficult compared to the earlier ones. So this one is gonna be worth uh, 5%, okay? Um, do you guys have any questions so far? I mean, I've been talking a lot here. Um, any concerns? Any questions about uh, this, this, this format? You guys are able to see the screen, right? Like, uh, I, I am sharing my screen, right? Because it's just kind of new to this Zoom thing. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let's go back to the uh, to the calendar uh, and see what else is going on. So. Uh, in the calendar, you can see that uh, the labs, for example, over here, uh, lab one um, will, the, the quiz will be available, uh, you know, um, on the October 8th, and then you will have um, a week uh, to complete the lab quiz. Um, the, the lab themselves are already available online. So I'm gonna show you where they are in a second. Uh, and um, you, you can you know, start studying those labs uh, as we go through each of the units. Uh, but the quizzes, you will have one week to, to complete them. Um, and typically the due date for the quiz, uh, lab quiz, is going to be one day before your uh, actual test, okay? Uh, these lab quizzes um, will include questions related to the lab themselves, uh, as well as um, practice questions uh, that will help you prepare for the, uh, for the actual test. People usually get perfect for these lab quizzes, right? That 10% is, is kind of like a free gift, if you would. Um, they're, they're buffers to help you kind of kind of push the grades uh, uh, a little bit higher. So I have a question from uh, uh, Tatina. Uh, are those dry labs or are we go? Yeah, so these are these are virtual labs, okay? You don't you don't have to go to school or anything, okay? Everything is gonna be done at home uh, for this for this course, all right? Um, let me see if there's anything else here um, that I need to tell you. Nope, so this is just the calendar, right? Make sure you, you download it. Uh, I do want to mention quickly though, uh, anytime we have a test, the tutorial is going to be on the Wednesday instead of the uh, Friday, okay? Because I want to give you a review, right, for the test. Uh, uh, and so, you know, you, you will do better, hopefully, uh, for, the, uh, for the test. So you might be wondering, uh, what is the format uh, for the test? Uh, and, and, and quizzes. So formats are, again, quite similar uh, to what you had last semester. Uh, actually, I designed your, your uh, test bank for last semester as well, uh, even though I wasn't teaching the course. So, you know, you would expect uh, similar type of questions um, in this course. Uh, but for those of you who uh, uh, need a refresher, uh, basically a, a quiz and the test, you will have a multiple choice question. So these are standard questions um, that you'll be, you know, picking one answer, right? Uh, and those are the easy ones, okay? So typically these are uh, one mark uh, per question and the majority of the test will uh, consist of these uh, multiple choice questions, okay? So these questions are something that you could answer if you uh, have been uh, um, watching the recordings, if you have been coming to the um, tutorial sessions, they are not uh, particularly difficult. Uh, I mean, you guys will have your notes in front of you. Um, I, I cannot control that. I cannot tell you like not to use it. I'm not gonna police that, right? So uh, it's understood that you're gonna have your notes in front of you, uh, but you still have to study, right? You, you, you won't have enough time to flip through your notes uh, uh, and find the answers, uh, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you haven't been preparing for it, okay? Um, having the notes might help. You know, having like a summary sheet might be, might be a little bit better. Uh, but these multiple choice questions are there to, um, 
uh, to, to, to get you your 60s or 70s minimum, okay, if you have been uh, studying and attending uh, lectures. And then there are those multi-select multi questions, okay? The multi-select questions are the ones that are going to have uh, multiple uh, answers, okay? You will have more than one correct answers, and those tend to uh, be more difficult, more challenging, okay? Uh, because you never know how many answers there are, and you kind of really have to know your material in order to do well on those. So those are going to be two marks each, okay? Um, you will not have a lot of these, um, in a, in a, let's say, uh, a, a test, you might have about uh, six to, to nine of these multi-select questions. Uh, and finally, you will have these application questions. Okay. Application questions are one mark each. They are quite difficult. Um, you, you have to think about uh, what you've learned and apply it. Uh, you won't be able to find the answer in notes necessarily. Uh, and you know, even if you search it on the internet, you, you won't be able to find the answers, okay? So um, there might be, Again, on a typical test, uh, there might be uh, uh, six of these uh, these questions. Um, so, are you guys okay with that? Any concerns you might have? No, we good. All right. So that's it for the calendar. Uh, let's go back to the home page and see what else we have. Um, So learning materials, um, if you got the textbook from last semester, you can continue to use it. Uh, it's, uh, it it's, uh, it's the same textbook. Uh, and um, a lot of the diagrams that I use in my uh, PowerPoints are actually the same diagram in the textbook. Um, so if you have it, you can definitely continue to use it. Uh, but if you read anything extra in the textbook, things that I did not cover in class, uh, things that I did not cover in the tutorials, then you won't be uh, responsible uh, for it on the test or quiz. Okay, so the uh, textbook is uh, only for uh, supplementary, uh, um, for, for reference only. Uh, if you have not bought the textbook yet, uh, it is kind of expensive. I mean, it's like 100 and whatever, 30 something dollars. Um, so you, you can hold off on that uh, first, right? Um, if after the first two weeks or so, you feel that the lectures and the tutorials are not adequate, uh, um, then you, know, you can decide to buy it. Uh, or you can use the, um, the free uh, 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 online textbook. Um, there's a link here, the uh, open source textbook. Um, I mean, the stuff we do are pretty uh, introductory, so any anatomy textbook would be would would be would be okay, would be sufficient. So this one is a free one that's online. Um, some people don't like to read online, and you want to have a physical copy. That that's fine. You can buy it from from the bookstore. But what I do really want you to purchase is uh, is a copy of the workbook. Um, have you guys got the workbook? Can you quickly? Um, uh, um, do a do a chat uh, on the um, on the chat and tell me if you have uh, uh, brought the uh, workbook, the workbook from the bookstore. It's about thirty six dollars. Uh, you're picking up today. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um. I I really want you guys to to get the workbook because that's what we'll be uh, using for the uh, for the tutorial. Okay. So um, if you haven't got your workbook, I I posted um the the first chapter for you. Uh, it, you know, in the announcement, you can see um, there, there is a link that takes you to it. I'm just going to show you what the workbook looks like. Um, let me see over here. So uh, we will be going through these exercises uh, uh, together. Um, and, you know, uh, I'll be doing it along with you, asking you questions, uh, giving you hints about what's, what's important uh, and, and what might uh, show up on the, on, the, on the test. So you definitely uh, want, to, want to get this. There are a lot of diagrams, right? And, and some of the diagrams in the, um, in the book, uh, like, like this one, this is something that uh, I actually uh, label uh, in the lecture recordings, okay? So you, you need to have this sheet in order for you to follow along uh, uh, um, with the um, with the with the lecture recordings, okay. Like this might be a simple diagram. You look at this, you're like, oh yeah, I learned this before, right, in uh, high school and whatnot. But later on, when we get to, um, like the brain unit and stuff like that, then things start to get uh, a, a little bit crazy, right, with these things. So so you definitely want to have um, have your workbook uh, 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 and uh, and and follow along, okay. Um, 
like I am the author of the of the workbook, uh, and so I tailored it to the course. Okay, but uh, but I don't get any money from it. Okay, so I'm I'm not telling you to buy it because you know I want to make money. Right? Even though my name is on it, uh, I, I, it's only the bookstore that's uh, that's making the money. So someone asked, uh, Tiffany asked, uh, could we get an example of uh, of an application question? Yeah, absolutely. We are going to be doing some uh, practice application questions uh, when we do the tutorials. I right? um, today might not be a good time to 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 show an example. Uh, um, a lot of you actually have not uh, uh, watched the uh, lecture recordings yet. Uh, I, I, I have a way of tracking who's, who, who's, who has uh, uh, watched it and who hasn't. Uh, and a majority of you have not watched it yet. So uh, we can try the application questions once people have, um, have, uh, have, uh, have looked at it. Uh, and then you know, you, you, we'll be doing uh, a polling. Um, you'll be able to answer the questions. Uh, and then I'll see you know, if, if a majority of the people do not get the correct answer, then I can explain uh, it more, more to you guys, OK? Um, so that, that is on Friday, right? Friday, uh, 10 to, uh, to 12. Um, that's where the, the tutorial is going to be. OK, back to um, here. Um, schedule, we'll talk about that. The virtual tutorial, um, if you click on that, then it will uh, take you to the links, right? So we have the Zoom link for today. Um, and then I, I won't be sending out emails anymore uh, regarding the Zoom meeting. Okay? I won't send you the links every week. You just go to uh, this place and, and you find the link yourself, okay? So I'll, I'll post more as they become uh, uh, available. So the, uh, the next one is going to be uh, September 17th, sorry, September 18th, there's a typo there. Uh, and, and you click on the link. And uh, starting next week, you are going to need a passcode to go in. It's like a new uh, Zoom security thing. Um, used to be optional, but now you, you have to have a passcode. Um, so it will be posted there. Uh, and after each lecture, uh, I, uh, each um, tutorial, I will post the recording link uh, in the respective box. Okay? So um, if you want to rewatch something, if your friend uh, or if you missed the tutorial session, then you can go and uh, access them uh, there. Any question, feel free to, you know, unmute yourself and ask uh, or, you know, type in the chat box. Don't be shy. I want this to be an interactive uh, experience, right? Try to um, have as much interaction as possible. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be very boring for you, right? I, you're sitting here for two hours, I guess. Uh, there is a frequently asked um, questions. Uh, um, about some of the stuff we talked about textbooks and uh, uh, attending class and, and, and all. Uh, oh, I, I actually forgot to introduce myself. In the frequently asked questions, I think there is a um, section that talks about like who I am. Uh, I have been teaching at the college for actually uh, 11 years now. Uh, and I actually have been teaching this course for like um, uh, the past uh, six, seven years. Uh, so uh, a lot of the materials are um, I'm quite familiar with. Um, and so, you know, if you need clarification on things like that, you know, please uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, the best way to contact me is to uh, send me an email. Okay? So you can find my email on eCentennial uh, or on the first page of uh, every lecture uh, slides. Um, or you can just reply to that email that I sent out uh, last, um, last week. Uh, and usually I reply your email quite quickly. Okay, so a few of you actually emailed me already and I typically replied you within an hour or two. Uh, and if you have not heard back from me after two days, uh, for example, then, um, then that means I did not get your email. Okay, I will always reply you within a two days window. Um, and if, uh, if you haven't heard back from me, then maybe check to see if you send it to the wrong uh, person. There are a couple of Vincent Wong in the college apparently. Uh, so, you know, make sure you get the, 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 the right one, okay? Um, in case you, you know, don't have my email, uh, I'm just going to type it out here for you. Um, vwong at centennialcollege.ca, okay? There is another one um, that sometimes pops up when you, uh, when you uh, search me up, okay? So let me try to make this bigger for you. Okay, I I um I reply to both. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one you you want to use. Um, there is a phone number that might show up in the in your eCentennial or timetable. Um, I don't have the access to my phone anymore, obviously because I'm not uh at the office. Um, so the best way to reach me is um is to um is to email me. Okay. Let me see what else is um is there. 
oh yes another thing about test uh if you are uh require if you require accommodations uh because you register with uh with uh, cals uh, which is our uh, the college uh, accessibility uh, uh, department. Um, please uh, send me an email and send me your accommodation uh, uh, form so I can give you uh, extra time uh, for the um, for the test. Okay, there is also a post a question uh, link here, and and this is something that I really want you guys to uh, to do. Um, if you click on the post a question, it will take you to uh, this page. And I mean, at the beginning, I, I, I uh, try to ask you guys to, uh, to type in some, uh, some expectations for the course, right? And, you know, nobody, nobody did it. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping that you guys can change that a little bit. Uh, you know, never mind the expectation thing here, but posting the question. This is where we can build a community for the, for the course. Uh, a lot of times, the question you have might be similar to other people. Okay, so if you click on that and then you can just um, uh, click on this add button uh, and you'll be able to add questions related to a specific lecture. Okay, uh, and you know, it, it could be a question from the workbook that uh, I did not take up uh, during the tutorial. We only have two hours, we might, might not be able to cover all the questions, right? So, so you can pose it there and other people can answer uh, and I'll be monitoring it. Uh, and so this way we can build kind of like a, like a database or library of questions and answers, uh, which might be helpful, right? When it comes to, um, comes to the test, okay? So someone did pose here, uh, for questions for orientation or tutorials, mandatory. So like I said, right, I'm not grading you for attending the uh, tutorials. Um, uh, these are just, you know, uh, voluntary attendance, I guess. Uh, but um, hopefully you find that coming to these tutorials uh, will be useful. Uh, we do cover quite a bit of, uh, of uh, um, information in these tutorials. And if you missed it, again, you can just watch the uh, uh, recordings. Okay, so back to the, um, back to the homepage here. Uh, let me see if I missed anything. Okay, so if you go to content, right, content, um, you can see unit one is lecture one to four, so you want to click into that. Um, and then you will see three tabs, right? You have the lecture recordings, study resources, and supplementary reading. Okay, so let's go through each one of these. First, we have the lecture recordings. Uh, this is the asynchronous part, okay? The part that you do on your own, right? Uh, and again, you're supposed to do it before you attend Friday's tutorial, okay? If you don't watch this and you come to the tutorial, it, it wouldn't make sense to you, uh, the, the stuff that I'm, 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 I'm talking about. It's, like it's, um, it's, it's gonna be based on the recordings, right? So uh, the recordings together, typically like all the parts, um, they range from anywhere from two hours to, uh, to, uh, to, to two and a half hours in total. Um, so I, I break them down into uh, smaller 30 minutes, 40 minutes uh, uh, sections. Um, so you don't have to watch all of it in one setting, okay? And again, uh, when you watch these um, uh, um, uh, recordings, you, you need to have the PowerPoint slides with you and, and you should have your workbook with you so you can, you can follow along and color uh, together and label together, okay? So for lecture one, there are five parts together. Uh, and, and within the recordings, there are some uh, practice questions as well. So, so you can, you can uh, go um, and, uh, and kind of test your own uh, learning um, as you watch them. Um, study resources, right? Um, there are some crosswords that you can do to help familiarize uh, yourself with, uh, with the terms. There are a lot of big terms here in the course. Uh, uh, and and you, know, you, you would have to learn their definitions and so on and so forth. Um, there are a lot of 3D models um, that I provide for you. So if you click on one of these, let's see if it's going to work. Right. So, so there is an interactive 3D model. Right? You can uh, just uh, move it around. You can uh, click on the parts and it will tell you uh, what the name of that part is. And if you click on read more, and it will give you a little bit of a description of what it is. So if, if this is your first time taking anatomy uh, or it has been a while, um, 
you know, since you've taken it, then something like this is, is much better um, to, to help you visualize what's going on. Okay, so usually we would do this in the classroom with a, with a physical model, but again, everything is virtual now. So I do try to find these uh, 3D models for you to, um, to, uh, to, to look at, okay? Uh, and labeling these things will be good for you uh, for, the, uh, for the lab quiz. Uh, and, and again, uh, I'm going to go through the lab quiz in a bit. If I forget, please, uh, please remind me. Um, let me go back to study resources. Uh, there are video resources. So let me click on one of this uh, link. So the video resources will take you to a bunch of videos, okay? So uh, there is animations for angioplasty, something to unblock your arteries, for example. Um, there is one about the conduction system of the heart. Uh, all these are just extra information for you to look at. Uh, uh, you are not responsible for uh, things that we did not cover in the recordings, okay? Uh, and sometimes these things go into a little bit more uh, details um, than, than we do in the course. So. Again, extra details you're not responsible for. Uh, if you, for some reason, don't like my uh, lecture recording, okay, that's fine. <laughs> there are other alternatives here. Um, you might have heard of Crash Course on, uh, on, on, on YouTube channels, right? So there is a nice uh, uh, anatomy series where they go through each of the body system. Um, so I pulled them out and put them here in case you want to have a different perspective. Uh, but they do go into a lot more details um, than us. Um, so again, just pay attention to that. Um, there are some can, Khan's Academy here if, you, uh, if, you, if you're interested in those things. So all these extra resources, okay, for you to, um, to look at, right? These are things that we cover in the lecture, uh, but you know, it's nice to see an animation, to see a video and to see like maybe a real world application of that. Okay, so that's, that's a video resource is available for every single uh, lecture. Uh, the first lecture we, we talked about anatomical terms and planes like we used like I, I, I use those terms when I describe a diagram like I would say um, here is a transverse section of the heart and you're looking at it from the superior plane um, and, and you learn those things last semester okay presumably uh, and if you need a refresher uh, here is a, is a link to it uh, it's one of my recordings for the uh, for the O um, for, for uh, GS182 so you can watch that uh, as well. Uh, I try to give you some coloring sheets uh, to do. Um, if you have a printer at home, you can color them. Uh, it's, it's really a good way to help you uh, visualize the, the parts and, and uh, help you study for the test. Um, some of the labels are, um, are uh, some of the models rather, are actually uh, real models. Um, so I found this cool site where they have a bunch of these uh, real uh, plasticized uh, uh, models. Uh, and, and this is a real heart. Uh, and again, it's three dimensional. You can drag it and see. Uh, and, and if you click on it, it will tell you, you know, what the name of the part is. Okay. It's, it's one thing to look at a colorful uh, cartoon diagram. Uh, it's, it's easier to label that. Uh, but when you look at the real thing, everything is kind of like beige in color, right? Um, so it, it's harder to tell what's what. So by looking at it from a different perspective, uh, um, you know, hopefully, again, it will help you uh, uh, learn it a little bit better. And, and lastly, uh, in the study resources, um, there is going to be a self quiz, okay, uh, self quiz right here. Uh, the self quiz is not for grades. Um, the, after you watch the recordings, after you uh, come to the tutorial, if you want to see how much you know, uh, you can do the uh, self quiz. Uh, and you can do it as many times as you want. Okay, I, I think I set it, up, set it up in a way that you will be able to see your answers uh, right away when you submit. Uh, but, uh, but do double check. If you don't see your answer, just email me and I'll, 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 I'll fix that uh, for you. So there is a self quiz for every single unit. Um, the actual test will be a little bit more difficult than the uh, self quiz, uh, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't try it, okay? Uh, and I post the study guide uh, for the first uh, chapter, like I said, uh, but after that, I won't be posting them anymore. So, so please uh, go ahead and buy the uh, workbook from the bookstore. And that's pretty much for all the lectures. Uh, I mean, if you go into lecture two, uh, which is next week, you will see this exact same stuff. Okay, you will have six parts, uh, uh, um, lecture recordings to watch, and then study resources are basically uh, the same stuff. Uh, and uh, there's a self quiz there. Uh, and the supplementary reading is the online textbook. You click on that, it will uh, uh, 
I'll click on it. It will open up a new link, uh, and uh, and and you will see, you know, readings. Okay, uh, it's basically uh, the same stuff that I teach you in the recordings, but again, in more details. Okay, uh, just the last thing before I let you go. Uh, we we're not going to do the full two hours today. It's just orientations. Uh, Fridays will be will be two hours though. Okay, so uh, please plan for that accordingly. Um, so in the lab, you will see there are three labs here, okay? Lab one, lab two, lab three. Uh, and, and you want to do them, you know, before you attempt the quiz. You, can, you cannot do the lab quiz uh, cold turkey, okay? You cannot just, just, just wing it, right? As they say, you, you, you have to do the lab first, okay? So if you click on the lab, uh, it's basically a, a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and, and what you want to do is you, you, will, you will go through the slides yourself. Okay? You print them out, do it on your computer, whatever. Um, so in, in, a, in a real classroom, what we would have done is I would give you these models uh, and then you will, you will label the models. Okay? Uh, so instead of doing that, I take pictures of all these models that we have in the, at school and, and you will now label them virtually. Okay, it's, it's not the best way to um, do it, I guess, but uh, it's the best we could do to, um, to simulate the actual experience, okay? So, so you will write down the answers. Okay, a is, um, you know, the aorta, B is the pulmonary artery, so on and so forth. And you just, uh, here's the heart being opened up, right? The coronal session. And you just go through all these things, okay? So some of it, you have to go watch uh, YouTube link. Uh, and uh, before you, you are able to answer the questions. Uh, and you can see this lab um, actually covers everything uh, for the first unit, okay? So lecture one to lecture um, uh, uh, four, right? So you might want to do this lab a little bit at a time, okay? Every time you finish one, uh, one week of lecture, you come here and do the relevant slides uh, and then so on and so forth, okay? Um, the best way that you can prepare for the lab quiz is to, um, I, again, either print this out or do it on your computer uh, and have the answers right next to you. Uh, 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 so that way uh, you can, um, you can you know, easily asset, uh, access your, your, your lab uh, stuff. Um, so here we, we have another question in the chat box. Uh, how much time is given for the lab? Uh, that is a great question. I, um, I don't remember, but uh, I'm going to go find out right now, okay? Uh, let me see. Great. That, again, right, the labs, uh, people are going to, um, to, uh, to usually get perfect, okay? Uh, and there are two reasons for that, okay? The, the labs are designed to boost your grades, right? As I said before. And number two, you actually have two attempts for the, uh, for the labs, okay? Uh, you do it one time and you don't like the marks, you can do it again. Uh, and it's going to be the best mark that is being recorded, okay? Um, so if you get like 60% first try, you do it again, you get 90%, the 90% will get um, recorded. Um, the questions are randomized though, okay? So you might not get the exact same question uh, as the first time. Uh, same thing for the tests and quizzes, right? Um, I've created a big uh, question bank, so um, everybody's gonna get different questions, right? Um, so for the, for the lab quizzes, again, you will have two attempts uh, and it's the best one that will, that will count, okay? Let's say you get 80% the first time and then you did worse the second time, like you get 65 or something, it's still 80, that's going to be um, counting. So uh, here is the lab quizzes. Um, you won't be able to click onto it yet, right? Um, until like October 8th, uh, but let me see. I'm, I'm gonna preview it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Um, the time allowed is one hour, okay, one hour. It's, uh, it's plenty of, uh, of time. Uh, I think there's only like 24 questions or something like that. I'm gonna start the quiz um, and it will look something like this, okay? So, you know, identify the blood type based on this, right? So like you might not be able to do it right now, right? Because you haven't done the lab, but this, something like this would be easy um, if you have done the lab. Uh, let me see if I can find you one of those labeling questions. Yep, so here it is, right? There's the heart. Uh, and it, it will be pointing at uh, label H, and then you will have to choose uh, the, um, the correct name uh, for that part. And uh, if I just go back to here for a second, um, give me one moment. Um, if I go back to the lab here, lab one. Nope. Uh, 
sorry, there it is. Oh, I, f I forgot where it is. I was gonna show you uh, side by side, but uh, remember earlier when I show you, uh, show you the lab. Let me see. Uh, let me submit the quiz first. Exit preview. If I go back to the content here, right? Uh, content. And if I go back to online lab one, right? So it was it was this uh, this heart right the question that we, we we just saw on the lab quiz right it was asking you what H is right so if you have done uh, your your lab if you have all the answers next to you then you know it's easier right I'm not saying that you should like always look at your answers right but uh, but but it helps to to have a copy next to you uh, and and you know you definitely want to study a little bit okay because um, again you, you you won't have time to look up every single question where right? you're gonna run out of time. Um, so, so that's what the lab is, and there are three of these things. Um, and I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it uh, in terms of everything I want to tell you. Let me just go through my list again. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's all. Um, do you guys have any, any, any questions um, that you want to ask me before we, uh, we end the lecture? Um, you guys know what you have to do before you come back on uh, Friday. Uh, you, you have to watch the lecture one recording and get a workbook hopefully if you haven't already. Um, any question at all? No, we are good? All right, so, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, if, you, if you know your friends uh, uh, who, who are not here attending the session, uh, please, please uh, encourage them to come on Friday. Like at least come once, right? See what it is about. If you think it's useless, then you know maybe don't come later on. Doesn't matter. But at least try once, right? I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be useful uh, 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 in terms of preparing you for the for the test. Um, so so yeah, I'll see you guys on uh, on on Friday, uh, ten o'clock. Okay. Thanks very much. Have a good day.